What's up guys? See a little piece right there? That's an antenna. I need a new one. You guys probably recognize this place. We're at Matt's here in Hyde Park. Salvage yard. They got a lot of cars here, man. And uh, I gotta replace that antenna as well as some uh, other little things on the Saturn that aren't worth buying really brand new. I have somebody that's possibly interested in purchasing the car. And uh, I really like the car a lot and uh, want to make sure it is in good shape for that uh, next owner. So I'm here at the salvage yard to see if I can find some replacement parts. So come hang out with me today as we venture through the salvage yard. Saturn's are right around the corner here. And there is a Saturn ore right there. That's what we need. Need some very minor things here. <laughs> Probably keep this car running forever, but it's time to let it go. Now, if you're not familiar with the Saturn Aura, it was basically the same thing as a Chevy Malibu. Also the Pontiac G6. Um, I sold these for quite a while. Good car. I actually sold myself one. This one has broken side glass. Um, and one of the things with the uh, Saturn Aura was that they taught us was all the cars have laminated front windshields, but this actually has double paned laminated side glass, which is pretty cool. That's why you see this window like this and not bust it out. Somebody left a lot of things in this one, including a uh, frying pan. Now, we're very close to the culinary here, so you guys have probably seen some of my culinary videos. And uh, whoever owned this vehicle, Left a uh, frying pan and uh, lots of lots of culinary stuff. There's even a tie in there. And we need the antenna up there. They even left their GPS and their Easy Pass in there. It's kind of crazy. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna look around a little bit and see if I can find one that's a little easier to get to because uh, I started moving some things and things just keep falling out. Here's the uh, last one we had. We uh, already removed the antenna from that one the last time I was here. And she said she had a few of them, so this is one. And let's see, is there any other ones over here? That's an L series. Got Saturn Ion. The L series wagon. Oh, there's another Aura. This one got a uh, hit in the side here, but the uh, antenna's there. All right, that one looks good. Let's see. Hopefully the inside this is not uh, as cluttered. Okay, got that one open. Uh, so, okay, let's see. That right, looks good. So, <laughs> Ford something or other there. And someone already took some stuff out of the dash panel. But this should work. All right, this is funny. I just noticed this. So, <laughs> the aura I was telling you guys shares the same platform as the Malibu. Well, someone switched down the airbag at one point. Has a uh, Chevrolet steering cover for the airbag. And then, just to show you guys, this is a Saturn. We're gonna have to do this here. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Guess they couldn't find any more Saturn parts. All right, this is gonna be our donor car. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna show you guys of this, but I'm gonna remove that antenna. First, you got to remove the headliner. I got to go back down, go grab my toolbox, take the uh, sun visors out, remove this uh, panel with the map lamps, and then I can get to the wire that unclips that. That was my mistake last time, is that I just cut the wires instead of uh, doing that. Very stupid, never cut the wires. Um, unfortunately, it's far back into the headliner, the wire, and it's a clip. Why they did this, I don't know. They should have put the clip nice and close to where the, the map lamps are so you could just unplug it but it's all the way over there. So gotta take out the headliner. Other thing I need, these little wiper things. They wanted like 50 bucks for these new. You know what? I'd rather just take my on this car. This car's eventually gonna get crushed. That's something that no one would ever buy. So I'm gonna buy them and save those from the, uh, from the garbage, from the dump. Finally got the hood to wedge under the tree limb, but if I move it at all, this car, which of course it's gonna move, it's gonna fall so down. One of the things I noticed is my uh, washer fluid isn't spraying out anymore, so I'm gonna take this whole line out, see where it goes, see where I can grab it from, and take that out, and we'll grab that too. Looks pretty simple. All right, this is gonna be the test dummy car. The uh, washer nozzles did not work out too good. 
I tried taking those off, same exact thing happened to mine. They just fell apart, very brittle, very old. To remove the headliner, we gotta uh, remove these, looks like three torque bit screws. We're gonna have to do the same thing over here. Then we're gonna have to remove this, and the wire we need to replace uh, for the antenna is like right here. So we're gonna have to unclip it there, and it should be from that length all the way up to here. And then we'll uh, take this out right here. All right, got that out. This is the thing, you never know what you're gonna find. This one here, looks like some uh, mice are trying to keep warm in here. So uh, I think I'm gonna put my gloves back on. Here we go, let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna be surprised if we find a dead mouse in here. Oh my God. Ew, look at all that. That's awful. Oh my god, it's crazy. Now I know that's not there because mine didn't have it. We just need that bolt out right there. See that bolt right there? We gotta remove that. That was a lot more work than I anticipated taking that headliner out, but got the antenna, got the wiring. Should be good this time. Last time I cut the wires, that was a big stupid mistake. You gotta take your time to do things. All right. We're going to open up the hood of the other Saturn Aurora. We're going to see if we grab the washer uh, spurs off, nozzles off that one. I'm not sure. These seem pretty brittle. Uh, Mike broke right off. These are probably going to happen to have a uh, same thing happen. Uh, but you, you never know, so we'll go try it. All right, there's the uh, previous donor car. Then we got the other car we were working on over here. So we're going to uh, pop the hood on this one here. Try this again. See if we get those uh, washer nozzles. They look good. This is the original car we were looking at with all the culinary stuff in it with the leather sheets in it. So they just left everything. Same problem. Yep. Oh, gotta remove another heat shield. It's fun. This one's crazy, this Saturn. With all the stuff in it. Look at this. I'm not gonna show her name, but this girl left. She left all her tax returns in here. Unreal. Wherever you are, you should come clean out your car, man. You got a lot of stuff in here. Girl looked like she was from uh, Louisiana, and the uh, numbers on here are from April of 16, so. I know this car hasn't been here three years, so I don't know how it got here or what the story is if she's local, but she left all her tax returns, her easy pass, a lot of, a lot of important stuff in there. All her class books are in there, everything. And it looks like she was a veteran. Now, she should definitely come here and find her stuff. I'm sure she's never going to see this video, but crazy. Oh, my God. Never keep that stuff in your car. And she has them in the car for years, not just like she just did them. They're in there for like the last 10 years. So kind of nuts, don't keep that stuff in your car, bad idea. The lady at the front said she had three of these Saturns. You gotta be a lot more careful here in the snow. Um, this is the original one here that we took stuff out of. I actually took the antenna out and we're at it at the beginning. These uh, washer nozzles, as soon as I touch them, they just fall apart. So I have one more shot at this. The plastic is braille, uh, very brittle. Um, most of these cars are 10 years old at least. This is 09, so 19's are out. Um, this is my last option. If this one doesn't work, uh, we're gonna be buying them new. Um, it is what it is, I guess. We'll, we'll give it one more shot. I'm gonna show you guys, this is the last one, how brittle these things are. Definitely not meant to be reused. Look at that, broken. That's it. I was very gentle with that, and that's broken off in there. So, only way to get these are brand new. So, looks like I'm buying new ones. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Do you see what I see? Another one. <laughs> Maybe if I just change my hood out and <laughs> swap it with another car, it would work. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. This one, the first one that finally stands up. Needed old faithful here. I've learned uh, how to get these off very easily. Most of them all, never mind. Forget that I said that. Wow, this first one that is not coming off. Does not want to come off. Already broken. God, man. I can't win here. Can't win. Got my new jacket all dirty. My hands are dirty. I don't care about my hands being dirty. My new jacket's all dirty. Oh well, that's it. I don't know. I give up. I tried to uh, use salvage parts to fix this thing. And uh, at least I got the antenna, I guess. Now I got to uh, put it all back together, which is going to be fun. Because now I got to do it on my own car where these are all totaled cars where nobody cares about little cosmetic things. Um, so doing it on my own car is gonna be fun because we got to make it look nice um, And I guess I'm gonna have to order these uh, washer fluid things brand new. I don't have a choice here So we tried anyways guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today here at the Junkyard or the salvage yard as I call it uh, You can call it whatever you like, but uh, we're gonna come back do another video I am the germ. Please like share subscribe if you guys want to mail something to the peel box the peel box is in the description below the germ P.O. Box 818, Hyde Park, New York, 12538. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.